The His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Sustainable Development has been granted to Mrs. Anna Kajumolo Tobejuka, the former Minister of Land, Housing and Human Settlements in Tanzania, former UN Under Secretary General of the United Nations and former Executive Director, UN Habitat and Director General of the United Nations Office of Nairobi during a grand ceremony held at the UN headquarters. The ceremony was held last night on the sidelines of the 71st UN General Assembly UNGA session. President of the current UNGA session, Peter Thompson, Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Al Ghait, Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, Administrator of the United Nations Development Programme, UNDP, Helen Clark, and Her Royal Highness Princess Basma bin Saud bin Abdulaziz Al Saud attended the ceremony. Scores of ministers, diplomats, representatives of Arab and foreign countries to the UN, senior UN officials, journalists and media personnel were also present. On the occasion, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa congratulated Mrs. Anna Kajumulo Tubejuka for being the recipient of the Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Sustainable Development in recognition of her contributions in supporting sustainable development efforts in many countries of the world. His Royal Highness emphasized that Mrs. Tubejuka is highly respected on an international level for her efforts to strengthen cooperation frameworks that serve urban and sustainable development objectives, as well as her imprint to establish the foundations of a common collective action to achieve noble humanitarian goals. He expressed appreciation to Professor Tubejuka for her continuous and constructive cooperation, which, he added, has contributed to the relationship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Nations, resulting in accomplishing many outstanding achievements. His Royal Highness pointed out that the award was focused on the support of individual and collective initiatives in terms of sustainable development, particularly in developing countries, and was won by projects from Burkina Faso and Brazil, which have been able to achieve best practices. His Royal Highness said he was delighted that the award has been able to attain its objectives in supporting the efforts of individuals and institutions and motivate them towards initiative, innovative solutions and projects. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the prevailing conflicts and lack of security in many parts of the world have resulted in widespread death and destruction, forcing hundreds of thousands of civilians to flee their homes and causing a dire need for emergency humanitarian assistance. He called on the international community to take necessary measures to redress the damage to alleviate the suffering of innocent civilians. The Prime Minister said that the world has to consider a new approach in terms of addressing the future and these people to help them overcome the impact of misfortunes and hardship. Economic recovery is essential in order for them to rise again. His Royal Highness added that the international community must assume responsibility to confront tragic situations that undermine efforts aimed at implementing security and peace. He said that everyone has to assist these countries to return to normalcy and achieve economic recovery and urban development. His Royal Highness called upon the international community to challenge the causes of these wars and conflicts, to re-establish security and prosperity in which people may enjoy the benefits of sustainable development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that sustainable development would strengthen the capacities of countries in facing challenges, particularly terrorism. He said it is essential that the international community intensifies its efforts to improve living conditions as well as find solutions to direct energies towards productivity. He pointed out that the Kingdom of Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of Bahrain, had taken significant steps to prepare the grounds for achieving the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. He said that this is being done through an integrated vision of development, which focused on housing, educational and health with the highest level of well-being of citizens as a top priority. He stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to continue the implementation of plans that will ensure the achievement of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. This is being done based on the progress it has made in achieving the Millennium Development Goals as acknowledged by regional and international organizations. 
His Royal Highness emphasized the Kingdom of Bahrain's interest in consolidating partnership with international organizations and agencies related to sustainable development. This interest, His Royal Highness added, uh, comes out of the belief in the importance of international cooperation in achieving security and stability to meet the aspirations of the people for development and prosperity. During the ceremony, Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he expressed the people of Bahrain's pride in the leadership and in the commitment of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to implementing the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, stressing that the government of Bahrain had successfully achieved the Millennial Development Goals MDGs and paved the way for an effective implementation of SDGs. The Foreign Minister pointed out that His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Sustainable Development reflected His Royal Highness the Premier's appreciation for the efforts being exerted by individuals, organizations and institutions in the field of development and his keenness on enhancing international cooperation, exchange of expertise and experiences among countries in this regard. Global leaders and officials attended a grand ceremony at the UN last night for the presentation of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Sustainable Development. More in this more details rather in this report with Mohammed Al Shaaban. The Kingdom of Bahrain organized a grand ceremony at the UN headquarters in New York last night for His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Sustainable Development. The ceremony was attended by the Arab League Secretary General, the GCC Secretary General, the current President of the UN General Assembly, and diplomats and officials along with members of the media. Consistent with this, His Leadership, His Royal Highness established this prestigious award to, rec to recognize outstanding efforts by individuals, organizations, and institutions in the, de in the, de in the development field. This year's award went to Professor Anna Kajamalo, an MP from the United Republic of Tanzania and former Minister for Land, Housing and Human Settlement Development. She is being awarded for her achievements and success in providing creative solutions for the attainment of sustainable development. It is such a humbling occasion for me to stand here in these now not, no longer so familiar working committees of the UN. But to come again in this capacity is absolutely humbling. The award aims to enhance international cooperation through the exchange and transfer of experiences and lessons learned. It aims to encourage the international community to shoulder its responsibilities towards achieving sustainable development, especially within developing nations. In the past years, the award went to leading projects from Burkina Faso and Brazil for personal and collective initiatives that aim towards achieving sustainable development goals. The Kingdom of Bahrain, with its sound policies and directives, remains at the forefront of achieving the sustainable development goals and providing the best for its citizens. This on top of celebrating worldwide achievements along the same domain. Mohamed Shaban, Bahrain Television News. In the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, and founder of Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mixed Martial Arts Organization, KHK MMA, his Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The first Brave Mixed Martial Arts Championship matches were held yesterday, organized by KHK MMA organization and the Khalid bin Hamid organization with the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association. The championship began with an introductory film about mixed martial arts, the history of the sport and how it spread around the world before reaching the Kingdom of Bahrain. It also highlighted the global achievements of the kingdom, after which His Highness Sheikh Khalid announced the launch of the first competition organized by the kingdom. The matches started with 20 fighters from 10 countries participating and were attended by Sheikh Khalid bin Turki bin Rashid al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Isa al Khalifa, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa bin Ahmed al Khalifa. Khalid Abdelaziz Al Khayat, chairman of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association, BMAA, 
along with a number of ambassadors and officials of the youth sector in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser appreciated the support given by the wise leadership to the youth and sports sector in the kingdom, especially the sport of MMA, which recently brought Bahrain achievements and honourable results in record time, putting the name of Bahrain among the developed nations in MMA. He said Sheikh Khalid Al Khalifa played an active role by exerting great efforts to promote the culture of this sport in Bahrain and at regional and Asian levels adding that these efforts had a great impact on the youth, which in turn brought many gains, such as the Brave Championship, which is a pure Bahraini concept that reflects the ambitions of His Highness to promote Bahrain and attract wide international attention to this small country. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed a happiness with the launch of the first edition of this event, which is considered to be a real start in organising global MMA events on Bahrain's ground. He wished for the emergence of more Bahraini fighters to participate and bring honourable results that will raise the name of the kingdom in global events. His Highness praised the presence and follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to the ma matches of this championship, which has contributed to the event's success. He expressed his great pleasure in organising the event, which reflects his aspirations in achieving goals that enhance Bahrain's position on the world of MMA sports map through holding championships in the kingdom and achieving a wider spread of the sport on Arab, Asian and international levels, enhancing joint cooperation with the International Mixed Martial Arts Association in holding championships that support the sport. He praised the strong performance from the fighters during the matches, which saw excitement and strong competition from all the fighters, reflecting positively on the event. His Highness congratulated the winning fighters and wished the others luck in upcoming championships. He also praised the Bahrainis who helped organise the event and turn it into a success. You can hear the cheers here. Hamza Kweji, this is what we expected. The fans clearly behind this man. What a tough competitor. And he is a favorite in this fight, but he has to have a ton of pressure on his shoulders, being the, actually a cage game fighter yourself. So a lot of pride on the line for Hamza. You know, I've trained with Hamza before. Hamza is a very good fighter. He's aggressive. He's going to want to take this fight to the ground. He will have the wrestling style against his Egyptian stand-up fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, the already former fight of the evening. Whew, that was intense. <laughs> Did you feel that? And the crowd's going to go. He's trying to go for the other, but he needs to bring the arm across his head. Wow, what a performance already by Hamza Quinn. Mashali walks up a little disgruntled, but so far he seems okay. Round one easily goes. And, and it's it over. Hamza Koheji. He wasn't having it. Hamza said, fine, that's fine with me. I'm going to go to North South. Saw no defense, went to, for the North South choke, and he got it. A very big moment in Bahrain MMA for one of the pioneers, Hamza Koheji. North-South choke at three minutes. Give it up for the pride of Bahrain, Hamza Koheji. Both smiling. They oh, want to finish each other. Ben this Trump, could be he gets a choke and he taps him out. Just wow. like that. Didn't put up any sort of a fight. He was done. Brand well said. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, anything that does with sports and youth uh, in Bahrain uh, makes me uh, really happy. 
makes me motivated and I want to even uh, uh, organize and get more even events in Bahrain. Alhamdulillah, step by step, we are really reaching to the, uh, to the maximum or to the worldwide level. Uh, you know, we've been competing hard in the Olympics, we've been competing hard in the worldwide uh, um, racings and the events as well. But Alhamdulillah, Bahrain is, uh, is like a diamond in this uh, planet. It really shines, it's really worthful uh, between huge countries and uh, with countries with a lot of people and a lot of competitors. Um, whatever we put our hands in, is alhamdulillah with our with our people with our youth with our great teams uh, is becoming a very successful thing today or tonight we have uh, brave and it is something that's uh, gonna get really competitive in the uh, near future uh, alhamdulillah we saw a bahraini winner as a pro uh, it is a step forward inshallah we'll see more bahrainis uh, in this uh, in these uh, sports as uh, mixed martial arts it's really a, a courageous sport, a character builder. Um, I want to see more of our guys to, go, to come and to try themselves because this is a real energy releaser. Um, and again, uh, as I said, um, this event is going to grow. I'm sure it's going to grow. I'm sure it's going to get the best around the world and it will be uh, going around the world and uh, organizing some more events. We get the instructions and we do it and we make it happen. Um, as I said uh, earlier uh, in, in a debate with the other people, everything is possible. It's not about the money, it's not about what you do, it's about the brains, it's about the team, it's about the caliber of people we have um, and the dreams that we want is gonna happen. It will come true. We will have real champions, we will have good champions in Bahrain and more of them are coming on the way. So. His Majesty just points and we will make it happen. I feel great fighting in Bahrain and winning a fight is the best feeling ever. I'm living for that feeling. It feels great because uh, all my life I've been, every day before I go to sleep I dream about fighting in Bahrain. And now that's happening, it's something that I'm really happy to do. Something that I really love to do. It's great, like uh, a lot of people think if you're with Sheikh Khalid and Sheikh Nasser, you only get sponsored by money. But that's, uh, but that's something that people don't see. They treat us like brothers. Whatever we need, they give us. And that's what makes fighters like at this team different from any other team around the world. Like they have, they're always there for us. And that's what pushes us forward. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, held meetings today with the Foreign Ministers of the Republic of Argentina, Susanna Malrocora, the Foreign Minister of Malaysia, Dato Sri Anifa, the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Singapore, Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan, and the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Malta, George Veya. The meetings, which were held on the sidelines of the 71st session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, dealt with the ever-progressing bilateral relations, mechanisms to further them, expanding cooperation aspects to meet common interests, and underpinning development and prosperity, in addition to deepening coordination with regards to the various regional and global issues. They also touched on the most important topics tabled for discussion on the agenda of the 71st session of the United Nations General Assembly and exchanged views on them. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, yesterday conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to his brother, President Abd Rabu Mansour Hadi of the Brotherly Republic of Yemen, as the latter received him on the sidelines of the meetings of the 71st session of the United National Nations General Assembly in New York. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed Bahrain's commitment to continue its participation on the Arab coalition to support the legitimacy in Yemen until the legitimate government, led by President Abed Rabu Mansour Hadi, is able to extend state control on all of the Yemeni territories, manage its affairs and carry out its mission to achieve development and prosperity for the brotherly people of Yemen. The minister stressed that the Arab coalition's humanitarian rule would continue so as to ease the suffering of the Yemeni people, end all foreign interferences, help implement the Gulf initiatives and its executive mechanism, and enforce the outputs of the National Dialogue and the UN Security Council Resolution 2216 of 2015, which will 
all ensure a political solution to the crisis, put an end to the suffering of the Yemenis and preserve the country's security, stability and unity. For his part, the Yemeni president entrusted the Minister of Foreign Affairs with conveying his greetings to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa and expressed sincere pride and appreciation on behalf of all the Yemeni people to the Kingdom of Bahrain for its support for the Yemeni cause, affirming that it is not strange for the Kingdom to demonstrate such supportive stances and wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met yesterday the President of the 71st Session of the UN General Assembly, Peter Thompson, on the sidelines of the meetings of the 71st Session of the United Nations General Assembly. The minister extended his sincere congratulations to Mr. Peter Thompson for the trust placed in his person by the international community and his assignment to the post of president of the 71st session of the UN General Assembly. He renewed the commitment of the Kingdom of Bahrain to providing Mr. Thompson with all forms of support and cooperation to contribute to the success of his mission in reinforcing interstate bonds and preserving world peace and security. For his part, Mr. Thompson voiced recognition for the stances and contributions of the Kingdom of Bahrain in maintaining stability in the region and for its cooperation with the UN in enhancing peace and security. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met yesterday with the Foreign Minister of New Zealand, Mr. Murray McCulley, the former Minister of Tanzania, Mr. Augustine Mahiga, and the Deputy Foreign Minister of the Republic of Estonia, Fino Renard. This came on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly meetings in New York. During his meetings with them, Sheikh Khalid refused the Kingdom's bilateral relations with their countries and means of bolstering them in various fields. He affirmed the importance of meeting with and exchanging visits among officials in order to further explore joint cooperation as well as coordination on issues of common concern.